we're taking a look at even more celebrities who have voiced some of your favorite and unique Avatar characters. Can you name them before we reveal them? Who are you? The first character on our list is the instigator of the Hundred Year War, Fire Lord Sozin. How dare you occupy Earth Kingdom territory? How dare you, a citizen of the Fire Nation, address your Fire Lord this way? This voice actor perfectly expresses Sozin's no-nonsense and intimidating demeanor. Your loyalty is to our nation first. Anything less makes you a traitor. Have you guessed it? Roku's island was a hundred miles away. I had never seen anything like this catastrophe. This celebrity voice is actor Ron Perlman. There's not a moment to waste. Some of Ron's notable performances include Hellboy, and he voices Optimus Primal in the new Transformers movie, Rise of the Beasts. Uh, please. Without you, all my plans are suddenly possible. I have a vision for the future, Roku. Ron Perlman certainly added some gas to Sozin's fiery persona. <coughs> Second on our list is the actor who plays Avatar Aang and Katara's daughter, Kaya. Your father doesn't bring you to visit nearly enough. He's probably scared I'll beat him up like when we were kids. I'm not scared of you anymore. Like her mom, Kaya is an excellent waterbender. Zahir. Also like her mom, she is stoic, respected, and a total boss in her element. I need some help! The voice behind Kaya represents the same qualities in their well-known role in the Golden Globe award-winning show, House. Uh, 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 Boomy, let go! But we could die! We're gonna die if we hang on! Lisa Edelstein has even been the voice of several animated characters before The Legend of Korra. What? Everyone's fine, and he stole some old necklace that had something to do with Guru Lakshmir. Guru Lakshima. Right. This next actor played Kaya's mom Katara during her childhood years. You're not the only one who draws power from the moon. And aside from giving us the iconic Avatar intro... Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. This voice actor conveyed a range of emotion for Katara throughout the series. She was protecting the last waterbender. What? Who? Mae Whitman. Me! Has an impressive resume. And you may recognize her from The Duff, Arrested Development, Good Girls, and many more. <laughs> but for 60 episodes, she voiced a fan favorite character, Katara. It is the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. What if we kissed? May also voiced a Kyoshi warrior. <laughs> Uncle Iroh's late son, Lu Tan. <laughs> I got you, Dad. <laughs> and several other roles in the series. <laughs> Fourth on our list voices Toph Beifong's granddaughter, Opal. Wow, Avatar Korra. I can't believe you're really here. You are so amazing. Opal may not have cheeky comebacks like Toph, but she certainly has her grandmother's fighting spirit. Wow, you're a natural. You really think so? Thanks. Cora, you can't let Kuvira get away with this. We have to go break out mom and my brothers. You swore an oath of non-aggression when you became an airbender. You can't just attack Kuvira. I don't care about the oath. I have to save my family. The voice behind Opal also voices Luna Loud's girlfriend, Sam Sharp, in The Loud House. Put her there, partner. Do you know this actor? <laughs> You're right. We can save this town ourselves. It's Allison Stoner. I didn't know. Allison perfectly captures Opal's calm nature. I know my family can be a little crazy and overwhelming sometimes, but I would love it so much if you would be a part of it. Even though her character on Drake and Josh is quite the opposite from Opal, showcasing Allison's incredible range of talent at a young age. Wow, your life sounds so exciting. Fifth on our list voices two awkward twins. Yes! This voice actor is a Teen Choice Award winner and in the same year portrayed Palmer Noyd in Nickelodeon's Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. What will it take to get you to shut your yak? Shameless star Cameron Monaghan's first animated voiceover role were Poi and Ping. If any of you are Earthbenders, come with me. I'm an Earthbender. I'm not. You could tell Cameron had a bright future. Yes! 
Just as fitting, our next actor also experienced their first animated role in the Avatar universe. It's the voice of Jinora. Iki, I can't concentrate if you keep talking. Jinora's spirity powers are broken and she doesn't know where Korra is. My powers are not broken. I just need more than two seconds. This actor not only plays the daughter of a powerful airbending master. Dad! Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. But also plays the daughter of marketing genius Don Draper in the Emmy Award-winning series Mad Men. Stay away from my dad's ex-girlfriend. Kieran Shipka's calm demeanor was an ideal fit to Jinora's spiritual character. The world's in trouble. What are you talking about? How do you know? I can feel it. This light spirit will guide you out of the spirit world. I have to go help. Jinora, wait! Speaking of spiritual, this next celebrity voice actor played the spirit of knowledge, Wan Shitong. I know you're back there. Both Wan Shitong and their vocal counterpart are incredibly experienced with illustrious reputations. I am Wan Shitong, he who knows 10,000 things, and you are obviously humans which, by the way, are no longer permitted in my study. And this Emmy Award-winning actor isn't always as serious as Wan Shitong. Why have you come here? Um, knowledge for knowledge's sake? If you're going to lie to an all-knowing spirit being, you should at least put some effort into it. Some of Hector Elizondo's countless credits include Princess Diaries, Chicago Hope, and Pretty Woman. Very nice. But his lovable characters in those films vastly differ from the intensity that is Wan Shi Tong. He's sinking the building! We've got to get out of here! I'm afraid I can't allow that. Ah! Ah! Next on our list, voices Avatar Aang. Really? Uh, nope, not that Aang. But you called me here. Nope, not that one either. Okay, well this celebrity voices a character that plays Avatar Aang in the Ember Island Players. <laughs> I'm the Avatar, silly! Here to spread joy and fun! Wait, is that a woman playing me? In fact, this actor played many characters in various skits on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm an incurable prankster? She is Rachel Dratch. My hero! Even in the world of Avatar, Rachel Dratch has a knack for performing on stage. I wouldn't want it any other way! Up next, this actor voices not one, but two integral characters, Long Feng. I am Long Feng, Grand Secretariat of Ba Sing Se and head of the Dai Li. And Yakon. This time I'm gonna put you to sleep for good! <laughs> Acting as the shady rich local in Dexter New Blood, maybe this celebrity is a gift for portraying wrongdoers. <laughs> if you listen to them, you're playing right into your own destruction. Have you guessed it? You're a disgrace. A weakling. Long Fang and Yakone are voiced by the one and only Clancy Brown. You can't arrest me. You all need me more than you know. You may also know him as Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. <laughs> That's right. The talents of Clancy Brown knows no bounds. I made you what you are. You're mine! The tenth and last celebrity voice actor on our list is also most known for SpongeBob SquarePants. Round one goes to the Golden Temple Tiger Dillos! And he has made quite the cameo, voicing the pro-bending referee. Foul! Over the line! Move back to zone three! Maybe he's getting his cues from Potty the Parrot. I'm being held here against my will! And who owns Potty? It's Patchy the Pirate, a.k.a. Tom Kenny. Knockout! Open your eyes, ref! And more notably, Tom Kenny voices SpongeBob SquarePants himself. The Fire Ferrets win the coin toss! Which element do you choose? I'm taking this one. What do you think about the celebrity voices behind these roles? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe if you'd like to see a part three.